I am happy to join with you today in what will go down in history I have a dream My poor little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character I have a dream today Courage is an inner resolution to go forward despite obstacles. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929. As an American pastor, activist, humanitarian, and leader in the civil rights movement, he was best known for improving civil rights by using completely nonviolent civil disobedience based on his Christian beliefs. Because he was a PhD and a pastor, Kings is sometimes called the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. or just Dr. King. He's also known by his initials MLK. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Each person must live their life as a model for others. Rosa Louise Macaulay Parks was born on February 4, 1913. She was an African-American civil rights activist and known as the mother of the modern-day American civil rights movement and the mother of the freedom movement. Parks is best known for what she did in her hometown of Montgomery, Alabama, when a driver told her to move to the back of the bus, and she refused. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children A life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Jack Roosevelt Jackie Robinson was born on January 31, 1919 and was the first African American Major League Baseball player of modern times. Robinson broke the baseball color barrier when he debuted with the Brooklyn Dodgers in 1947. He was the first black man to openly play in the major leagues since the 1880s and had a major role in bringing an end to racial segregation in professional baseball. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Frederick Douglass was born as a slave in 1818 in Maryland, but learned to read and escaped to the North in the 1830s. He soon became an abolitionist, or someone who wants to end slavery. During the Civil War, Douglass was the most famous black man in the country and even met Abraham Lincoln. During his life, he wrote two books and even published his own newspaper. A man can make what he wants of himself if he truly believes that he must be ready for hard work and many heartbreaks. Thurgood Marshall was born on July 2, 1908. He was an American jurist and the first African American to serve on the Supreme Court of the United States. Thurgood Marshall was one of the lawyers who argued on the Brown v. Board of Education, which ended segregation in public schools. Marshall served on the court from 1967 to 1991 and also served as the Solicitor General of the United States.
I will not allow my life's light to be determined by the darkness around me. Sojourner Truth was born in 1797, and she was one of the first abolitionists and speakers for women's rights. She was born as a slave, but escaped from slavery in 1826. She was born Isabella Baumfrey, but renamed herself to Sojourner Truth when she was about 46 years old and announced that she would travel to work against injustice. Throughout her travels, she lectured on her experiences as a slave and is best known for her Ain't I a Woman speech that was given at the Women's Rights Convention of 1851. If you want to lift yourself up, lift up someone else. Booker Talia Farrah Washington was born on April 5, 1856, and was an American educator, author, orator, and advisor to presidents of the United States. Between 1890 and 1915, Washington was the dominant leader in the African American community. Washington was from the last generation of black American leaders born into slavery and became the leading voice of the former slaves and their descendants. Booker T. Washington was one of the most prominent leaders in the foundation of the American Civil Rights Movement. Every great dream begins with the dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars, to change the world. Harriet Tubman was born in 1820. She was an African-American anti-slavery worker and humanitarian. She was also a Union spy and the first ever black woman to lead an American mission during the Civil War. She was born into slavery, but she escaped, and during her life, she made 19 trips back to help over 300 other slaves escape in the formation of the Underground Railroad. Thanks for joining us in honoring these American heroes and their memory. Their dreams reflect the spirit of this great nation and its ideals that all men are created equal and America would be a nation of liberty and justice for all. I hope that we can all learn something from their collective wisdom and remember to focus on our commonalities rather than our differences. Much love, and as always, stay safe and stay active. Coach Meager, signing out.